everyone, my name is Pixeled Monk, and welcome to the Monk Cave. And this is a once a week series in which we build, we explore, and we have some fun to start off your work week every Monday or school week. Well, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to do a miniature world tour because mi casa es su casa, my house is your house, and I think that giving you guys a tour would be the best place to start. So, first of all, we have my bedroom not much in here right now but um uh, unfortunately i i don't have a bed for you i haven't made a guest bedroom yet so i think we're gonna have to find some other place for you to sleep well let's look let's look around let's see if we can find you guys a place to sleep okay so what we're gonna do is go down here hmm no and the furnaces probably won't be very comfortable neither will the storage room how about the enchanting room is there a good place to sleep in here no, not unless you want to lie on books. I mean, that doesn't seem very comfortable. Well, let's go back up the stairs and see what's going on up there. Maybe there's a good place for you guys to, to spend the night, lay your head, and get some nice dreams. No, not the flower farm. Oh, perfect. The sheep farm. You guys can lie right on top of the sheep. I mean, you've heard of counting sheep to fall asleep, right? Well, maybe if you sleep on them, you'll go to sleep a lot faster. Well, I mean, they are a little noisy, and they do kind of smell, but I think this will be perfect. All right, you guys can sleep in the sheep farm. But where does all this wool go that I use? I use it and put it right over here. Here is where I collect all of the wool from those sheeps. And I guess I won't be harvesting much anymore since you guys will be sleeping on them. That's all right, though. Up here is the world map. And let's see where we are. Let's see. Let's go up a couple. We are right... Oh, right there. Right in between those three snowy mountains. And as you'll notice, there is lots of greenery around me. And, of course, lots, lots of rivers and lakes and ponds and stuff. Which is perfect for me, for this little lion here, for this, for this monk lion, all right, perfect, perfect serenity. All right, well, let's keep moving on with the tour. Up here is where, um, <clears throat> uh, well, this is where I keep the cows, the pigs, and the sheep for my food. Yeah, it sounds really bad, but they are quite delicious, I have to say. This is my horse training area, and I only have a couple of horses in here right now, but this is where I breed them, test how fast they go, test how jump they- how- how jump they high, how high they jump. I test how high they jump right over here and keep them in these little storage containers so they don't get escape. You're not going to escape, are you, horsey? No. And currently I'm maneuvering it a little bit. We're building here changing things up because whenever I jump these guys out of the fence they hit their head on the leaves and I'm sure that doesn't feel too good so let's keep moving on here and over here we've got our temporary mushroom farm and also there is that storage room that we saw earlier so we are right next to everything which is very very convenient for a little monk like me right here is the brewing room now I actually don't use potions very much so I've only got five brewing stands, but I've got my sugar cane, I've got my nether wart, and all the other ingredients necessary to create potions. And of course, this is where I store all those potions. Now down here, down this set of stairs, will be my mob farm, which I won't show you right now. Over here is my nether portal, which I'm also not going to show you right now. Behind this wall is a spider spawner. As you have probably noticed, this cave, this monk cave, is for practical uses. So all the redstone goes down here, all the little farms go down here, and what's great is that it's all connected in one big circle because we are right back to the monk cave sign. Now, being down here for a while, you know, I, I get kind of like a mole, you know. I get a little pale because I'm not out in the sun, I'm not out doing fun in the sun, and I'm down here instead working, slaving over different things, and sometimes I get a little tired of it, and I need to get out and go explore, so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to hop on the horsey here, and we are going to go up the horse elevator, 
and woo, because I gotta get out. I gotta get out of this cave sometimes. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that at all. Okay, let's try this. Okay, take take two. Okay, take two. Let's go back up. See, I've got to get out. I've got to stretch my legs as this little lion here needs to do. And so we are going to go exploring a little bit to show you guys what I have been doing on the surface. Because there are two parts of this world. There is the cave, the monk cave right over there, which has all the practical things. But sometimes I like to come up and just build and have fun. So I've started that right over here where I found a village originally and I've changed the buildings out to look more like, I guess you could call it medieval style. I guess you could call it that. Here is a couple of buildings. Not finished, that's for sure. But here are all of my villagers. Here's a little half street of what my entire village is going to look like. And I plan to expand this thing to huge proportions. I'm planning on building all around here, as far as the eyeball can see, and then farther. And I've got a question for you Minecraft techie guys out there. If I build a village that is huge, will the villagers eventually expand to that, or will I have to worry about zombie raids? I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to worry about zombie raids. Because right now this is all fenced off, but there's plenty of light and carpets to block off mobs from spawning on top of logs and such. But if I get it too big, I'm kind of worried about that. I don't want these guys to die. I mean, look how happy they are. They get to farm, and and they get to go, ah, and they get to have a good time. And see, these guys here, they just they just keep wanting to attack the villagers, and, and that's not very good. But eventually we're going to expand this city out to something huge and this building's not done yet so don't even worry about that but that's what we're gonna be doing in this minecraft series is having some fun building exploring and doing whatever else we want now that we've taken a good look at the little miniature village right now we are gonna head back towards the monk cave so i'll meet you there in just a second while i'm building the village way way over there i'm also building something a little closer by here's the entrance to the monk cave here and over here is the start of me building a castle, which definitely not your traditional castle, that's not what I'm going for here, but here is a third of it so far. I'm going to rebuild this whole thing and put it right over there where that rock is at and put another one right there, and then I'm going to put a dome in the center with some gardens and lots of other things like that, and I really want you guys to follow along the progress of that because it will be a lot of fun. So this is what I've got so far in terms of my castle, and I can't say there's another castle like it. I kind of just came up with it on, on my own. Just came from my brain. That's all it did. Came from my brain. Not finished yet. I still have to top put a top on the tower here, which will be made out of wood. It won't be made out of stone. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We are going to be building, we are going to be exploring, and we are going to be having fun in this Minecraft series, which will be out every Monday and possibly twice a week if you guys request it. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video if you felt like it was good, and I'll see you next time.